If you cannot understand what I am saying and declare it's all Greek to me, you are quoting Shakespeare. If you feel you are more sinned against than sinning, you are quoting Shakespeare. If you recall your salad days, you are quoting Shakespeare. If you act more in sorrow than in anger, if your wish is farther than your thought, if your lost property has vanished into thin air, you're quoting Shakespeare. If you have ever refused to budge an inch or suffered from green-eyed jealousy, if you have played fast and loose, if you have been tongue-tied, a tower of strength, hoodwinked or in a pickle, if you have knitted your brow, slept not one wink, stood on ceremony, danced attendance on your lord and master, laughed yourself into stitches, had short shrift, cold comfort, or too much of a good thing. If you've seen better days or lived in a fool's paradise, why, be that as it may, the more fool you, for it is a foregone conclusion that you are, as good luck would have it, quoting Shakespeare. If you think it is early days and clear out bag and baggage, if you think it is high time and that it is the long and short of it, if you believe that the game is up and the truth will out, even if it involves your own flesh and blood, if you lie low till the crack of doom because you suspect foul play, if you have set your teeth on edge at one fell swoop without rhyme or reason, then to give the devil his due, if the truth were known, for surely you have a tongue in your head. You're quoting Shakespeare. Even if you bid me good riddance and send me packing, if you wish I was dead as a doornail, if you think I am an eyesore, a laughingstock, the devil incarnate, a stony-hearted villain, bloody-minded, or a blinking idiot, then by Jove, O oh Lord, tut tut, for goodness sake, what the dickens but me, no buts. It is all one to me, for you are quoting Shakespeare.